In this video, let's work on the step number three to get the data saved into the database. So let's go back to our project. Uh, first, I might close all of those. Okay, now let's go to core customer and views.py. Okay, so we are still inside the create job page function. And let's go to the if request method post. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one, just copy it. And maybe just uh, close a bit so easy for you to read. All right, so down here, just paste it and change this one to three. All right, now make sure that you have the correct indent, all right? So all of those three on the same line. Okay, this one, step three, change this one to step three, step three. And of course, step three. Yep, that's all about it. Um, but before that, we need to change this one to L if the creating creating job dot uh, delivery name delivery name. Then the current step should be step four. All right, he's safe. Now, please make sure that you go with this order, all right? Because uh, we always check the last step first. So that's why we come up with delivery's name before we check the pickup names. Otherwise, if we put this uh, L if condition above this one, it's not gonna work. Okay, so that means after you complete the step number three, it will auto jump to the step four. Okay, now, Let's go to our create job page. Now hit refresh. And I'm going to type something like want good governs street Mitchum. All right, hit this. And yep, immediately it just uh, create a marker for you on this correct location. And we say Chris Brown phone, therefore, it, it. 99899 for example. All right, and hit save and continue. Okay, and then first, as you can see, it jumped to the step number four. And also we want to check on the admin dashboard. So we hit refresh here. Yep, so now we got the delivery last and long update to the database. You got the name and the phones of the delivery session. Beautiful. Next up, we want to show the uh, delivery details in here on the right hand side, right below the pickup session. So let's go back to our project, click template customer and create job. And now I might close the JavaScript session. Let's jump to the left side, okay? And right below this uh, checking, I'll just copy it is here we chain if step greater than three that's mean we are still in uh, step number four I uh, change this one to delivery delivery and the same thing for the address all right he's safe go back here refresh hey so now we have the delivery session we go uh, Chris Brown and the address. Beautiful. Now, next up in this page, payment page, uh, we need to get the uh, distance between this pickup and delivery locations. And then we're going to calculate the fee based on the distance. We're going to do that in the next video.